Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to understand the grid system of material UI. Like uh, in bootstrap, if you are familiar with bootstrap, in bootstrap also we have a 12 column. In material UI, we have divided the screen into 12 columns like that this browser we have so this browser screen is divided into 12 columns if you remember the bootstrap also in bootstrap also we have divided this screen into 12 columns so we understand that how it is divided and how we can use this because material ui grid system or you can say making a responsive application is little bit different from the bootstrap so how it is different that we are going to learn here suppose in div tag I say it is grid and grid have a container like in material UI we have a container here also we have a container but remember that here we have container and item two not single one so here I say for example I say grid from MUI like that save this we have a container like this and under this grid system we have one more component and that is item remember like that and here i say that i use typography i say typography like that and i say here that uh, it is a grid system grid system we can say material ui grid system and i say variant is equal to h3 we remove this from here save this and you will have such kind of output and uh, i can say h4 also because it little bit bigger one like that now i want to set into the center of the screen so i say alignment equal to center so it is not working right now so i can put this in typography so i say cut nice paste here save this nothing is happening here so i put here save this so nothing is happening here also so what i do i say mx auto you see this mx auto auto is working now here in this item and remember that I give one more items then I will explain you how what is the difference is this here I say item and uh, I say this item we have uh, the value I say call one and now I make it copy for time and I say call two and I say call three and I say call for save this and you will see here that all these item is coming here like this you see so why it is happening like this because we have to understand the grid system of this also so i say here that all the screen this should have a 12 column space remember sx means extra small 12 column you see it will take full screen like this now center is also gone now it will take the space of 12 so now i put here alignment to the center save this you see it's coming in center okay so it's coming in center and we have specify all 12 column to this typography now all others are coming in next column here now i specify here the space equal space to all so i say access equal to three same i provide here access equal to three remember that access equal to three once again access equal to three that means if we add these all three it will become 12 
so all will adjust into the 12 you see they are coming at the center in a 12 and if i see the responsiveness of all these you see that if i down this you see all are coming in a same way you see you see it is not like a bootstrap in bootstrap what happen if we specify a screen that after the size which we reduce this reduce this size is up to 500 pixel so after the 500 pixel all the component in bootstrap take 100 percent of the screen but here is not taking 100 percent remember that they are not becoming responsive like we have in bootstrap so what we have to understand here we have to understand here that we have a different approach here what approach i have i here say all the component will have the space of 12 in all the screen you see remember see this now if i once again do this you see on all the screen they having a single column all the 12 column they occupied but now i say if there is a tablet screen means we have a small screen like tablet then they should take three space or we can say they should take uh, six space remember to make it responsive i say it should take six space this one also six space and this one also sm is for tablet small screen xs is equal to extra small now you see that the magic if the screen is too small less than 500 pixel so they will become you see less than almost 600 pixel then they will come in a single row means each and every column will have the 12 column space but if i increase the size and this size is goes to tablet size and till the maximum size which you have the screen they all will have a column of six you see now like this we make the responsiveness in material ui but in bootstrap if i provide here six then after the six after the small means tab size we do minimum then tab space then they become 100 percent remember that in bootstrap if the screen size is up to the tablet and less than the tablet then all the component take maximum space but here is not taking a maximum space it's just opposite of material ui if we have a mobile screen then we have 100 percent because i have specified that on mobile screen they should take all the space in a small screen they should take the six space but if there is a you can say a desktop screen and that is medium screen so i say you should take four type of space so i copy this and i paste it here and i paste it here and again i paste it here you see that if the size is almost thousand pixels or you can say desktop screen then they will take three you see four column will take one column one this uh, tag will take four column of a space so you see in the maximum highest in high definition also it will take four space because i have not set it for the larger screen for desktop screen it will take four but for tab it will take six for mobile it will take 12 now i can also decide that it should take three space on large screen so i say lg for large and here i say three remember so if we have the pixel more than thousand means it is a hd screen we say not full hd hd screen large screen of laptop but not full hd you can say uh, the less than the 1500 less than of 1500 of pixels almost you can measure the size also so you see now it is coming in four you see we can measure size here if the screen size is less than 1200 pixel you see almost 1200 pixel 
you see now 1200 pixel it take the size of four column because till 12 column to 1200 pixels to the latest full HD it will take four column because we have not specified pixels for extra large screen for large screen is four but for desktop means less than 1200 pixel or almost to the you can say 900 pixels we have three column you see and you see in 900 pixel and less than 900 we have a tab screen then we have a six column and in mobile screen less than 600 pixel then we have a column only single all 12 column we can also decide the full HD that is extra large that we can say Excel equal to we can say four because we we can say all other component also we can say two also so I copy this and I paste it here and I paste it here and I paste it here and save this and you see that if I would be able to uh, maximize this uh, screen so you see they have taking two 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 that means it is eight column all other are remaining you see if a screen is greater than 500 sorry if the screen is greater than 1500 of pixel then it will be become extra large screen you see like that so in large screen we have four column extra large we have two then in desktop we have three like this in tab we have six in mobile we have 12 so like this we can adjust these grid system in material UI remember that it just opposite of bootstrap grid system in bootstrap we specify here some column and if the value less than of those column then they become the 100% width they take 100% width but here they are not taking 100% until you want say so I am saying here that if the screen is small like a mobile screen they should take all the 12 columns if there is a tab screen they take six column if the medium desktop skin is there then they should take four if larger screen mobile like larger skin means if laptop skin is there but in HD screen we should have a three but if we have a full HD screen extra large then we should take two columns so like this we have to specify in grid system and we have container we have item and remember that we may have one more container inside the item like this item we have so uh, here we may have another nested container also we we may have container like we say container and inside this container i may also have another grid item like this and i say sx equal to 12 like that and here i provide the value and i say nested container save this so like that way me also use this you see we have a nested container you see like that we also have means this container will come after this column automatically will come in new line so we may have the nested grid system also in material ui but remember that we have a container as the outer tag outer component and then we have item as the internal tag or component and we divide this grid system in 12 column and 12 column we can adjust in extra small small medium large and extra large screen as per the requirement we can do like this so that's all in the grid system of material ui in later video we will use grid system also in practical implementation then we will understand it in more reasonable way that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video